Hey, what's up, YouTube? You're watching NorCal Daily Driven. My name is Salim, and this is my channel for uh, car reviews, uh, auto news, uh, auto discussions, and sometimes uh, vlogs when I get the chance. Uh, but anyway, uh, this channel's pretty new. It's pretty new to me. I uh, just decided I wanted to do this since I've been watching other YouTubers uh, do car reviews and auto vlogs, and I thought it'd be something cool for me to do. But anyway, I wanted to talk about a big issue in California. Uh, I don't know if a lot of other people have experienced this. Uh, I'm sure if you're buying a new car, especially uh, a popular new car, uh, you've seen some sort of this, especially if you're an automotive enthusiast. Uh, but anyway, in California, we have something here called, uh, or what I like to call it is the California tax. Uh, this is in addition to your your MSRP or uh, your sales tax and all that that you pay uh, at the dealership when you buy a new car. But more specifically, let's talk about, uh, I'll give you an example, right? So, the new Ford Raptor that came out. 2017 models came out uh, a little over, less than a year ago maybe. And MSRP on a new Raptor is like 58000 and you add like you know the the uh, the big option package, the the code for it's 802A. That's like an eight thousand dollar option. So you're looking at like 60, 66,000, 66, 67,000, right? Well, I mean, if you go to a dealership outside of California, you'll probably get your uh, Raptor with the uh, pack, uh, the option package with all the bells and whistles for sixty-seven thousand plus tax and license. But in California, and more so the Bay Area, and uh, just outside the Bay Area, Sacramento, where I live at, you're gonna be paying about 85,000 for that Raptor. And you're probably thinking to yourself, what do you mean 85,000? You just said the price is 67,000. Well, yeah, that's what the price is, but since the popularity or whatever that the, uh, the dealers in California wanna sell you uh, or make you believe, they feel they need to put a twenty thousand dollar, fifteen to twenty thousand dollar markup on there, and they call it uh, market adjustment. So when you look at the sticker price on the window when you go to a dealer around here, it's gonna say you know MSRP fifty eight thousand, or, or depending on you know if you get the Crew Cab or the Super Crew, uh, it's gonna be in that range fifty eight sixty thousand, and then your options right. So you get you get uh, two big option packages. The biggest one is like eight thousand dollars. Then you get some smaller options here and there. So right, you see your options, your MSRP, the options, and then your total price should be in the $67,000 range, right? Well, right after that, you'll see a markup line item and it'll be one lump sum and it'll say, you know, market adjustment or ADM and the line item will read like 15, 20,000. So now your total price is like 85 grand or $87,000. And it's, it's fucking ridiculous. Like you should be able to go to a dealership and just pay the, the, the MSRP and the, and the option prices and, and that's it. You should get out of there. Tax license and, and you, you go home. But that's not the case, right? So that's, that's leading people in, in uh, California to look outside the state to go get their Raptors. And um, I mean, it's just crazy. It's just crazy, right? Like the dealers, are, and it was, that's why we call it the stealership and not the dealership. They're just doing it left and right. And there are people that are crazy enough to pay that eighty that eighty-seven thousand dollars, that extra fifteen, twenty thousand dollars, just so that they could have their raptor right away. They don't want to deal with you know getting it from out of state. It's not that hard. I mean it's not that much harder to get it out of state. Sometimes it could be a lot more fun to get it out of state too, depending on how you designate or coordinate the uh, the shipping or getting it over here. But I mean it's it's fucking ridiculous. And I'm, they're doing the same things with uh with, uh, with the, the Ford GT350R and the GT350s, right? When they first came out, everybody was slapping a markup on them. You were buying a Mustang, a 350R, for $100,000. A Mustang, we're talking about a Ford Mustang. Yeah, I understand it's a special edition, the special model, it's got, you know, the flat plane crank and all that. Yeah, it's awesome, it's cool. But it's not cool enough for me to spend another $40,000 over the asking price or, or the MSRP price to have it right away but I mean that's what it's been coming to these days I mean same thing with the Dodge Demon that's gonna be coming out people are already saying they're gonna be in the uh, over hundred thousand dollars when the MSRP is like in the 80s and Dodge is trying to regulate that well good luck Dodge it's not gonna happen these dealers are still gonna find some loophole to charge uh, customers who are willing to pay you know some crazy markup 
and and I don't know if it's always been like this or if it's the last like you know five years or whatever but that, that's just the case uh, same thing Camaro Z01 right the new the new one that came out Z01 1 LE most more so the 1 LE is the uh, track pack with the wing and the, uh, the canards or the dive planes and uh, and the more track specific upgrades so that, that's supposed to be like a, a $70,000, $72,000 Camaro. And uh, sure enough, some guy on my Instagram the other day that who owns uh, a 1LE took it in for service at the Fremont, uh, Fremont California uh, Ford dealership, or sorry, Chevy dealership, and they had a 1LE in the showroom. And boom, sure enough, $25,000 markup. So now your $72,000 one LE Camaro ZL1 is $100,000. $100,000 Camaro just because you're in California. It's crazy. And I'm going to show you uh, some screenshots that I'm going to uh, put up on the screen here in a second and show you what, what the Raptors cost in California, more so the Bay Area and the Sacramento area where I'm from. And and it's and it's nuts and they and and people are paying it because I'm seeing these Raptors on the street and I don't know where they're getting them from, but I know a a, a friend locally or a friend of a friend who paid the twenty thousand dollar markup just so he could have his Raptor. And I mean more more power to the dealership to get they're getting cashed out, but I mean these people are crazy for paying that, right? Maybe they have the money. Maybe you know twenty thousand dollars is chump change, but I mean to the normal average Joe like you and maybe I mean to me and maybe you guys. I mean that's just unheard of like I'm saving my money or I'm you know I got a budget for the price that that's shown on the MSRP and then when I go to the dealership that's that's not the case I can't get my my uh, $68,000 Raptor I'm gonna have to pay 85 grand that's not fucking happening I don't know about you but I'm not paying that shit and that's the case for a buddy of mine I mean this weekend and that's why I wanted to make this video because uh, a buddy of mine got his Raptor MSRP plus the options so 67 whatever it is uh, at a dealership in Texas 2018 you know uh, or, or ordered to build and everything so he ordered it sometime in July it got built early in August and now it's waiting for him at the dealership so you got two options right you either pay a thousand dollars or a little over a thousand dollars from Texas to get your Raptor shipped over here on the back of a truck a transporter um, or hey, you make you make a hell of a road trip out of it, right? And that's what we're gonna do, or that and and that's what he's lined up. So uh, come this Thursday night, we're gonna fly out to Texas, into Dallas, Texas, and then take an Uber over to the smaller town outside of De uh, Texas, to the smaller dealership where his Ford Raptor sitting. He's gonna take delivery of it, and uh, we're gonna make a hell of a road trip back. And I'm definitely gonna get some footage of that. We're gonna we're gonna put out some cool videos of that. Uh, we're gonna go to a couple uh, landmarks. We're gonna hit up Zion uh, National Park. We're gonna hit up Moab. Take it on a trail. Hopefully we get to jump it right. I mean, why else are you gonna buy a Raptor? Uh, take it off road. You know, dr drive it drive it through some dirt roads. You know, hit hit some bumps. Cause all I've been seeing is good things and good reviews about the Ford Raptor online. I don't think anybody said a bad thing about it. Everybody's, you know, just smiles and, and, and great comments, great reviews, awesome videos. 
So hopefully we get to uh, we get to get some of our own awesome videos, and I'm gonna put it up here on my channel, so you guys could check it out, and hopefully you know you guys show me some love and. Uh, you guys enjoy the videos, right? Because that's what it's all about. Um, hopefully, I get to create some great content, and, and you guys get to check it out with me. But I mean, yeah, that's one of the things I wanted to talk about, man. I mean, California tax is crazy. It's real. Ask anybody who's trying to buy uh, uh, a special car or a popular car these days in California. You're gonna find them. I mean, if the deal if the dealer can get you, they're gonna get you. And it happens a lot here in the Bay Area. The Civic Type R. That's another car that recently came out, right? Honda fucking Civic. We're not talking about a Lambo here. Honda Civic Type R. I don't know. MSRP is like 32 or some sh something in there. And people are paying fifty thousand dollars for Honda Civic Type R just so they can say that they had that shit first. No one gives a fuck, bro. When you go to sell that Honda Civic because you're bored of it in uh, two years or a year and a half, no, you're not getting back that fifteen thousand dollars you paid up in markup. Let alone, you know, what you paid for the actual price of the car because you put miles on it already. No, no one cares about the markup you paid. And you see it all day long. You go on Craigslist right now, and those guys who paid the markup for that car, they got that emotional attachment uh, built into the price that they're asking for their car. Well, listen here, buddy. Newsflash. You're not getting that shit. You're going to sit on your car if you're not willing to negotiate. That, that car is going to sit on Craigslist or Cars.com or Auto Trade or whatever you have it set on. Uh, because your price is unrealistic just because you got hustled and you're trying to get you're, you're trying to pass on your, your your hustle price to the next guy not gonna happen there's plenty of other people selling their car out there and I mean I've done it before I've, I've gone down to, to SoCal to buy cars just because here in the Bay Area or outside the Bay Area here people think their cars uh, worth a little bit more money it's not buddy it's not you got the same car the other guy the other guy's got he might even have a better car than yours but anyway, that's gonna be another video. I'll I'll, uh, I'll talk about that on these unrealistic uh, inflated Craigslist prices. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna put a lot more videos up. Again, we're gonna have an epic road trip this weekend. We're gonna be picking up a Ford Raptor in uh, Texas, and uh, gonna be an awesome bunch of videos coming up after that. As far as uh, the stops we make along the way. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Till then, enjoy the ride.